Hi, guys. Hi, Lance. Hi, Lance. Lance. So, you know, uh, I'm going to be honest. Um, sometimes I have to watch movies for either review or to interview, you know, people like you. And sometimes it's a slog. I'm not going to, you know, lie. But holy crap, this was great. Thank you. Man, it's a, it, it, it was just terrific. Uh, so well done, everyone. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. You'd be surprised, but we don't have a lot of feedback yet. Like, we've been to a couple of festivals and um, a couple of Rotten Tomatoes reviews, so we appreciate that. Like, you're yeah. not late. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to get our sea legs for what this thing is. Uh, yeah. I'm really glad that you responded to it like that. Yeah, man, it was just it was very, very good. Uh, and and I, this is your first feature. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's uh, 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 amazing. Um, how did you, like, how did this all sort of come about and how did you get this great cast? I mean, I have to say, like, it's it's a lot of notable firsts. So thank you for acknowledging mine. I mean, our director of photography, A.J. Marson, amazing, immersive, colorful film, his first. And then two of the three actors sitting here with you, we have, like, the seasoned person that we were so lucky to get in, Patrick. And then on the opposite ends, I mean, really, Kaylee's first uh, major film role uh and diana has certainly done things but uh, diana am i right that this was also your first like co-leading role in a feature yes correct yeah, yeah so i mean it's i mean, it's so nice to hear you respond like that lance because we had a lot of a lot of us in key roles going for the first time and uh, I, I also read that it was shot in 18 days yeah which is officially like three days too short but uh <laughs> we'll, our, uh, oh, you could have done it. Yeah, our analogy was like we were throwing eighty-yard bombs, you know, to ourselves and catching them. I mean, it was it was stupid. There's never enough money on indie films, and so you know you feel at the budget, but uh, not lip service at all because they're on this with us. But like having actors and the rapport that we have as a team didn't just save the film in terms of capturing great stuff that worked, but like helped us make our days because we were mm -hmm. often just like. We were we were starting at a disadvantage of our own making because we just didn't have we did not have the time that we needed and and as smart as I thought I was being to write relocating reoccurring locations we still had a dozen or so so we were like kind of all over the city so it was uh we were we were moving at a clip. Uh, now Patrick, I imagine you're sort of used to like the fast filming, you know, do, uh, coming from uh, doing a lot of TV, but like. Did you guys shooting film this as a film? Did you guys like have any rehearsal time or anything like that? Uh, not rehearsal per se. Uh, it, the way you think like, oh, we're going to take five days off and, and and do theater games with one another. No, but the good news is that you know uh, I've got uh, Kaylee and Diana beside me, and what they were was they were game. They were game to play in the moment in a film like this with words like this and speed and budget like this. It's so important because they came with their homework, right? And, uh, uh, and, and and when you do that, then you can play. And when you play, you find things that all of a sudden the script maybe didn't seem like it had. And oh, and then Ian can say, I like that, but that thing that's percolating, let's drive down that and let's do this and that. And that's the exciting part of it. Uh, what's the non-exciting part is, you know, the poor UPM who's over Ian's shoulder saying, that's really nice that you're making magic in a cup, but we got to wrap up by midnight. You know what I mean? That was the challenge. But the fun part was, you know, doing it. And I think all of us, I'll speak for our, all of us, I think when it comes to, yeah, we got tired. The days were long and fast. But when that thing is happening, when the juice is flowing, uh, that's, I mean, that's what you signed up for. Uh, if, for I want to ask about the, uh, like, those debate scenes. Um, they're so integral to, like, the story in the film. But I've seen, like, scenes like that, uh before and you know they're kind of like uh, all right let's just get on with it. let's go in the story but man here i was just so invested in 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 the back and forth and the following volleying between uh, you and kaylee uh, it, uh, like uh, how did you guys get the right tone for that to uh just make it so uh like interesting like sit up in your seat kind of like you know all right let's go i've i've i really honestly I'm, i feel like that's kind of the the gold medal goes to the editing like i feel like the writing sick the the performances uh, patrick and i are amazing no but i mean like 
the, the, yeah, we were up there saying it. And I was like, this is like a lot, this is a lot. And then like AJ, I couldn't, our DP, like, I don't know what angle he's got on me, but the angles that they were getting and then the editing at a clip, like that, like interstitial back and forth, like it's, it's like you're, you're, it's with your heartbeat, your heart's beating faster because the clips are changing and it's really beautifully done. And I, I got the privilege of watching it in a theater for the first time. And I was completely enthralled with those scenes. And I, I agree with you that I was like, I'm not sure how that's going to play. And I, it, it, it punches. It's awesome. Uh, and Diana, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. I, uh, yeah. you, uh, both you and Patrick had these two sort of scenes, uh, separately, but with your scene the, at the very end, when you're kind of like telling him off um man just uh, it, that was just so i kind of expected you to like you know just like rage and stuff but you sort of being so calm uh it was just like so powerful like how uh did you decide to keep it like that sort of that that way and as opposed to like doing what sort of you know other people other actors would want to just rage out i I think it was likely uh, Ian's help, probably. <laughs> um, and and figuring out really where Claire is coming from and her thought processes and what she's willing to fight for and maybe just understanding like what she's not willing to fight for. You know, personally, personally, I, I'd probably be much more aggressive. <laughs> um, but it just felt right, I suppose, in the moments. And I think playing off, playing off each other and really listening, you know, as actors, we're always really taught to listen, just listen. What are you getting? What are you hearing? What are they doing? How is it making you feel? Really going through those moments in, in the moment. Um, because I, I, I could probably lie here and and lie and say like, oh, that was all very planned and strategic. And of course I had done the work but those choices sort of happened organically well what it i i haven't said this to you yet dear friend but what it uh what it made me feel as i was watching a fight between someone who's facing mortality and and real and like and, and with her husband that isn't you know like i it was like a it's it's a grief it's a real grief filled fight for me to watch it's really beautiful good job thank you and Patrick, you along the same lines, kind of the same question, but when you uh, are, are uh, debating Kaylee and you say that, you know, those terrible like three words to her, you know, and you just stop everything, you know, um, uh, again, you could have just like yelled, blurted that out and yelled it in anger and it would have been totally, completely right. Um, but the way you said it, it was just, it even, it, it just had even a, deeper and more terrible impact i feel like well i think it's it's the unmasking of his entitlement that he he feels he can unleash that with actually no ramifications he doesn't have to shout it and also he's just stating a fact don't you all get that i mean i know it may offend some people but um, obviously right i think he's still in that mindset like no no people will be on my side after saying this i think it's a bit of a shock to him it's the decorum of it all. And then, then the post scene about that, it, you know, I'm, I'm not really interested in apologizing except perfunctor, uh, perfunctorily, I can't even say the word, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just because I have to in order to go ahead and get what I want. I'm still eyes on the prize. I don't see that that was necessarily a bad thing. So I don't have to scream it because it's just a fact, I think is what Simon's built in, you know, with that sort of thing. And it is devastating in the same respect, going back to, you know, Diana and I, when she delivers that to me, it's awful. It's awful because it just sits there as an immutable truth. What he does with it is what he does with it, but it's awful to be on the receiving end of that. Yeah, I mean, just the looks, look on your face and the look on your face, Deanna, like the back and forth. It was just, oh, my God. Um, I, you know, I want to ask you, uh, you wrote this, and it's such a dialogue-heavy film. Uh, were you like a true stickler for like the words? No. <laughs> yeah, you know, like Deanna was saying, like we all have our versions of doing our 
homework and coming prepared. For me, that's like 50 to 60 drafts. So there's just a point where I, I'm too close to it. Uh, and I'm not David Mamet. You know, I, I idolize David Mamet. I like Aaron Sorkin. But um, I don't know. The real fun for me, there's like, it's the edit, it's the music. And, and primarily the most thing that I enjoy is working with actors. So if I come in and I'm rigid and it's like, here's the gospel, I'm down from the mountains. Here's the two tablets, just, you know, ingest people. I mean, you know, it's my first feature and I've got Patrick Fabian. I mean, there's, there's, it, there's obviously things that are going to be lacking if I'm not inviting them in. And, and in my limited experience, I feel that actors really genuinely, eerily quickly know the characters better than I do, which is like, the best kind of humble pie you know i've been working on this stupid thing for you know three years and they come in and just see these things that were obvious to them so i i like that kind of i don't know it's a, it's it's a little um it's exciting because i don't feel like i have my footing um but you know that it's improving in real time so um and when you're with people that you trust you know we have found this to be true as we as the four of us have been talking i think like character and taste become elephants in the room in a good way that's a weird analogy but it's like um yeah there's there's no there's no sort of territorial thing so i i i guess i would probably answer i would probably lie to you or answer your question differently if there were people that i felt like i had to really go to war against you know if i personally felt but with these it was like i, I always felt like we were in service of the same thing we were all pointed in the right direction and that's is a it speaks to like competence and character and taste and having some sort of weird shorthand even though you're basically strangers and then it's like it's you know like i was saying it's my favorite thing in the world it's just the most fun uh patrick how did you actually like how did this role sort of come to you well ian uh had seen some of my other work he was a fan of better call saul which i was on for a few seasons and, i heard of that uh, show he liked yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh. and so he liked the uh, he liked the uh, when I think he told me when he saw uh, Howard do a, a scene or two, he was like, "Oh my God, that could be Simon," and you know he got the script to me and I read it and I was like, "Oh, I'm interested in this." And we got on the phone and we hit it off and it's like you know let's go. So you know that's the old adage of work begets work, right? That's why I never turned down hardly any auditions and you say yes because uh, you show up because you don't know who you're going to meet, who you're going to run into and what that's going to lead to. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have the experience of doing the way we speak. I wouldn't have the experience of doing Ian's first feature, being able to work alongside Kaylee and work alongside Deanna. If uh, I hadn't said yes to an audition and got a job and he happened to be watching TV. And those are those crooked lines that all actors have to say like, well, how did it happen overnight? Well, it didn't. It happened with all these wonderful sort of happenstances. And now the great news is, is that this project bonds us all. It puts us in, in am amber together moving forward, which I love. Well, I, I think that's about my time, but man, I just want to say, I love this film. It was great. You guys are, and you guys are great. And Ian, wow, well done again. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Thanks, Lance. Yeah. yeah. That's great to hear. And I can't, I can't wait to see uh, uh, this on the, either, you know, go on the big screen or wherever and a bunch of people to see it. It's great. Well, thanks. Us uh, too. Thank you, yeah. Lance. Thanks, thanks guys. Lance.